So my name is Gia Mora, and I'm an actor, a singer, a dancer, a model, and a teaching artist. I do a lot of theater, kids theater, adult theater, Shakespeare, musicals, and everything in between. I wanted to see what it was like to do more of this kind of, uh, you know, guerrilla kind of shooting, because I do a lot of that industrial, corporate, government kind of world, and, you know, I spend a lot of time behind, in front of the camera that way. But to get to do an, another project like this, and I loved the writing. I thought the writing was really clever and really fast. I also love the idea that it's in Silver Spring. This has been my home now for a year, and uh, I love it here. I think it's adorable, and uh, I like that it's urban. I had so much fun reading. Um, the first scene, reading the Facebook scene, cracked me up because that, when I had come in for the audition, I had just been friended like, uh, you know, Cherie has been uh, by this gal that was treating me like trash when we were in Colorado together. And, and she was like, oh my God, it's so good to see you. And I was like, I haven't talked to that's 12 years, 14 years. So that was uh, an immediate connection to this character because, I mean, we all have our Facebook stories, but mine was fortuitously close in timing with this character's. You do flip on those channels, like History Channel, and it was like, unraveling the Da Vinci Code. And, and apparently it's a series, and I thought it, that it was just like a one-off. No, it's that they're saying like, oh, well, if you look at the flood levels here and the this and the that, and I was like, are you kidding me? You just turned it into an hour-long program. You're out of your mind. We were watching Rachel Maddow live, because I always have to just get the clips online, you know? And they had this story on the real Jesus, you know? And every single break, right before every break, it would be like, and then Jesus knocked off all the coins on the table and said, you know, you shall not pay to enter the temple of the Lord, but what did the real Jesus look like? And it was like, ah, left turn. What did the real Jesus look like? First of all, who cares? Second of all, what does that have to do with like, you know, love, compassion, or even this biblical story supposedly that's happening in here? I, you know, and it was, and every single cut to it was, but what did the real Jesus look like? And we, that's now become a running joke. So to come and do a series that satirizes that, it's hardly satire. I mean, it's for real. I, I, it's so close to the bone that that's what makes it so great.